Still not sure if I'm doing the salsa, but I do know I'm eating salsa. Hey friends, what's up? It's Maisie with Barbecue by Maisie. If you're new here, you're in for a little spicy video. And if you're coming back, thanks for being here. Sure to appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Love when you do that. Like the video, share it, comment. It just <clears throat> does something to me in here and I just love it so much. Well, as I mentioned, today we're smoking some salsa. And let me tell you why this video is a little different than the salsa video I did in the past. We need to have a little talk about the salsa. I love smoked salsa, don't get me wrong. But there was just something I didn't love about it. And so I've been experimenting with recipes. I've been doing a little bit of research. Yes, I'm a nerd, I wear glasses. And I've crafted what for me is the perfect smoked salsa. I haven't seen anybody do it this way. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So please don't tease me. And if you have seen someone do it this way, let me know because that means we're instant pals. So here's my beef with salsa. Well, with the regular smoked salsa recipes you see, is it uses whole tomatoes. And I don't know if it's just my picky 12 year old coming out in me. I didn't like it. Don't like the texture. There was just, I had to blend it too much to get it to the consistency that I wanted. I like a nice, what we would call maybe a restaurant style salsa, a little more blended. I can put it on eggs. I can put it on burritos. I can put it on some chips. I just want a more versatile, less chunky salsa. So that's what I'm gonna show you in the video today. And I'm gonna show you what I've found that achieves that exact type of salsa. All right, so what you're gonna need to get this salsa started is a foil pan. You're going to see why this is imperative. You have to have a foil pan. Now let's talk jalapenos. That's right, jalapenos, where you're gonna get your spiciness from. I'm going to leave the basic recipe down in the description, but just note, I have two jalapenos that are going to be in the recipe. For me, it's too mild. I'm a spicy kind of gal. I like to crank up the heat. So I am using three jalapenos. I'm leaving the seeds and the vein. Is that what we call it? I was gonna say seeds and stems, but that doesn't sound right. The seeds and the veins in one of them because that's where a lot of the heat's gonna come from. So mess around with the salsas to achieve the correct spiciness for your cute little taste buds. And then we've also got half an onion. You can do more or less onion. Not gonna get mad at you. And then we have got three garlic cloves. I just cut those in half just to, in my head, they're achieving a little more smokiness. All right, we're gonna put those all in our foil pan. I am going to season mine with the Pit Boss Smoky Salt Cracked Pepper. Love it, it's my go-to general seasoning, but I would suggest adding a little salt and pepper at this step. Now here's where things get a little different. I'm not using whole tomatoes. I am using a can of petite diced tomatoes. Hear me out, here is why. Let me explain myself before you click out of this video. Don't you dare click away. I can tell you want to, don't. Here's why we're using the diced tomatoes. When you take them to the blender, they're already smaller. And so this is going to allow you to get more of the consistency that you desire. The other thing you can mess with and play with is how runny you want your salsa using the can of tomatoes. I leave all the juice of my tomatoes. See, you're gonna see, I dump the whole can in. I don't drain any of the juice. If you want a, a less runny, more chunky, thick salsa, drain the juice out. It's that freaking simple. So I just like how customizable this can of tomatoes gives you. And you're still getting all the flavor from the pit boss and the smoke in the smoker. So I've made this multiple, multiple times and 
it's just like my family's favorite salsa now. So please trust the process, give it a try. If you hate it, let me know. And if you like it, let me know. I'm truly interested to see if you like it. All right, now that we have these ingredients in our pan, we're gonna go place this pan on our Pit Boss Portable. We've got it preheated to 225 degrees for this cook. And I have got a charcoal blend pellet in the hopper. I just love the flavor that the charcoal gives to the salsa. All right, now, now that our salsa is on the smoker, all we're gonna do is leave it there for two hours. Just do me a favor and stick around because I'm all jacked up on this salsa recipe and I really hope you guys love it too. All right, two hours, see you back out here. I'm getting a Diet Coke. I don't care what you do, just have a good day. It's raining. All right, first things first, we're gonna put in our onions, jalapenos, and garlic, cilantro, and all of our seasonings into the blender first. So we've got our honey, lime juice, salt, cumin, our chicken, bouillon, and then we're going to put in the tomatoes last. The reason if the tomatoes go in first, they get too blended up too quickly. And then for me, the, the consistency gets just a little too liquidy. So by layering it in this way, we're gonna get our thicker things blended first, then the tomatoes will incorporate themselves. Now, quick note, I realize the chicken bouillon is a little bit strange of an addition. It just gives it a little extra flavor. All I have on hand are the bouillon cubes. I use the Knorr brand, um, but if you can find the powder, that's even better. So I have the cubes and I just try to, all right, I'm gonna expose myself. I use a hammer. I use a hammer, I flatten the cubes, and then I kind of crumble them up and it blends really well in the salsa. Powder would be even better. I just didn't wanna go buy a jar of powder to make a couple batches of salsa. So this is a pretty straightforward process. You're going to blend it to your desired liking. Like I said, I like mine to be a little bit on the less chunky side, but if you like yours a little more chunky, you could even chop up those vegetables more before they go in so that you don't need to blend them as much. Salsa straight out of the blender is just not my fave. It's a little piping hot for my taste buds. So what I like to do is transfer it to a container, pop it in the fridge, let it cool off. You could give it a little taste test to see if you need to add any extra um, salt, pepper, anything like that. But for the most part, I just go stick it in the fridge and forget about it. Now listen, salsa, it just needs time for all those flavors to get to know each other. You know, it's what happened to how are you? You know what I mean? Take it, take it to dinner first. So I like to leave my salsa in the fridge as long as 24 hours before I really start eating it. It just needs some time to chill, to hang out together. So that would be my number one recommendation with salsa. Don't judge it in the first 24 hours. Judge it after it's had some time to chill in the fridge. Once it's in the fridge, I think this salsa is good for about a week. I'd love to know if you enjoyed this recipe, if you make it, let me know if you liked it. And if you've watched this far in the video, um, first of all, I love ya. But will you please do me the pleasure of commenting spicy senorita down in the comments below. Spicy senorita, I just feel like that'll bring a smile to my face when I see all those comments rolling in. You guys are the best for playing along with my stupid little games, by the way. All right, if you like this video, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things. I'm not letting you leave till I get a little taste test. It's just blended really well. And I'll make sure I show you a close up of it. It's just, it's just, got, it's just great. It's just perfect if you ask me. Mm. Woo! That's some good salsa. Mm, got a little, it's got a little kick in there. I love that. Thank you so much for chilling with me in my backyard today. I had a ball, I hope you did too. And I just can't wait till we meet back here again. So you, have a great rest of your day. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, salsa.